What's up, y'all? It's your boy Clarence NYC. Welcome back to my reaction channel. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, make sure you leave a comment under the video. Make sure you smash that like button. Just show some love. You know what I'm saying? We show some love over here. I appreciate you for joining us. But today we're going to do, we're going to react to Adam's uh, Instagram live. Um, I guess this is his reaction towards all the allegations that Latoya were claiming in her video. You know what I'm saying? So it's a pretty long video, so we about to just get right into it. I'm not going to waste your time. Um, this is a 33 minute live. Wow. All right. So let's get into it. You know, the I got like thousands of people who message me saying, why are you stooping down to that level? You're better than this. You're better than that. And I agree with that, like that, like, you know, but the problem with that is you got to meet people where they're at. You try to sit with them privately and their whole self, you know, validation is the internet. So they come onto the internet, you know, for their self worth, their self value. And you try to sit with them in private and you're telling them, but nothing is registering. It's just going over people's heads. They're not trying to listen to you because they're not in this 3D dimension world, in this 3D world. They're stuck in this social media world where they don't even know like what's for real. Like, you know, what's the essence? What's really important? Oh, we got to get into it. We got to get so, into it. I want this to be. <clears throat> Let me just start off by saying that, um, you know, it's unfortunate because, you know, my life is people's entertainment. Some people here are have just like shits and giggles for this to be happening. But this is real life, real, you know, like right. real people involved here. And it's 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 pretty unfortunate. Um, I can say that. You know, let me state off by like the root of her video is that um, I agreed to do an interview with um, this channel called Unwind with Tasha. Um, it wasn't about being malicious. Uh, so Adam did that, do an um, interview. That interview, that channel. He did do I an pretty interview. Much didn't even really know much about but this channel. I think channel. he also I dropped was, a video on his channel. Because I do interviews like on a Let weekly me know if basis. Want to see the Tasha so she, they time. reached out to me saying that they've been a big fan. Um, Forever, I'm gonna show you the 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 message. I'll show it to you guys later. Cause anyhow, <clears throat> second, how do I? I don't even know how to spin this. But Tasha would also like me to let you know she's been a huge fan of yours. I pretty much defended my former spouse. Essentially, yeah, it, you know, maybe there was one question that, you know, was rah-rah, but for the most part, like, I was defending her. Um, so, but anyhow, she didn't even watch the interview, uh, my former spouse, and she just went nuts yesterday, and I'm telling her, like, hey, this is not the route to go. She ain't hearing it. So, since she wants to dabble around the truth, I was like, okay, let me give y'all the full truth the whole truth so help may god help you all right um you know let me first off saying i'm pro people are gonna bash me like yo you should be protecting women and all this stuff of course yeah we should you know this ain't this is the mother of your child yeah but but let me add context to that you know when you bring out these allegation of rape and um, abuse, like all that's out the window. And number two, this person doesn't even have respect for women. All right, two two weeks ago, you you had a whole scandal of bashing black women. Okay, so yes, we should protect women, but you don't even put, you don't even respect black women. All right, let me just let me just say that. So <clears throat> again, I gotta come here. And stoop to this. Mm -hmm. this is I told the you the rape shit was wild. I'm operate. not gonna lie, the, the rape shit was wild. She mom. knows how to function because she's been in this space for ten years. You talk to her in this real world, 
Ain't nothing registering. So I got to come up here and be on this type of level, which is whatever. I'm going to do it. I'm here. Um, so let me first off saying, start off saying that she does this interview yesterday. And what was bizarre to me about this interview is you wrote these questions. You give it to your assistant to ask you these questions. And then when the assistant I asks you this. certain questions, you're like acting like, oh, should I really answer these questions? Like, what kind of narcissistic, like, you just wrote these questions and gave it to this person here. Why are you acting like these questions came out of thin air, like this person behind you made up these questions? That person you wrote these tight. questions with the intent of causing that person damage. That person's dead, gave me tight, yeah. Oblivious, like, should I really answer these questions? What? Is you okay? Anyhow, I'm not deflecting at all about what, what, what was said. I'm about to get into pretty much everything, you know. Number one, there was there's this narrative that um, I was controlling everything, you know. But let me just say that as, you know, the man of the household, yeah, it was my role to step up forward and ensure that systems were in place, that everything operated in a seamless manner that allowed us to continue living our lives, okay? Um, in fact, two weeks ago, you messaged me and apologized saying, you know, I, 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 I regret, uh, you know, one, one of my major regrets was you, my life was so comfortable, you know, you gave me too much comfortability. like. One minute you're, you're telling me this, and then you're coming on here talking about control. So they were, control. so they still be right? communicating type shit. You know, like, I kept your brand pretty clean, wholesome. Right now, when people look at your brand, they're just confused about what is going on over there. It's, it's just a mess. It's disgusting. You know, it's, it's, it's just crazy, okay? Um, you made a note that I tried to dangle your trademark saying that I own you. Like, what are you talking about? Just because I filed your trademark does not mean I own the trademark. Trademarks are public record. You can log in and see who owns the trademark, okay? So just, just stop this false narrative of controlling and all this stuff when your life was pretty clean, okay? When I met you, and like you, in the video, you said the word balance so many times. You know what I'm saying? So she did. Yeah, I balanced. She she definitely kept bringing up the fact that like they like they balanced each other. Like you know what I mean? Like he definitely balanced her because she was like not on the business stuff, but he was on the business stuff. But she wanted to be on camera. And he didn't really enjoy it. like you know what I mean? Like so they balanced each other. So for sure. You because I was disciplined, um, and I had pure intentions in the family. Right? It's not like I'm stealing money and hiding it here and doing this. Like it was pure intentions. Um, it's, it's and doing this. Like it was pure intentions. Um, it's 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 just it's just strange to me this false narrative of controlling because you can see what control does what control not having control looks like now. It's this. It's this nonsense coming up on this platform here, speaking on personal matters. Um, so let me just set that tone there. Um, the second thing that I recall from watching this video is this I'm whole trying to let the talk, video okay? play too. Yeah. Yes, of course. We come from two different back uh, backgrounds. Um, I respected your 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 culture, okay, fully, um, and. You have to understand that I come w from another culture as well. If this is going to work, there has to be some common ground here. And the common ground was, all right, we're going to have this household based off of the basic, you know, necessities of life, such as love, kindness, um, you know, just the, back to the basics, okay? Um, so I, I said that the house had to be neutral because we both come. It's going to be conflicting messaging constantly here. All right. But I still embraced, you know, your culture, your religion. I never threw my religion on anybody's throat. 
all right? Um, and, and what baffles me about this, um, this whole religious talk here, you know, this is going to be one of the times where I'm going to get a little messy, but like, you talk, you talk all this religious talks, but you have a scandal right now of you messing around with a church leader right now. Like, you can't even control yourself from being a mess. And you want to fuck your way into heaven? You can't do that. Okay? This this is just crazy. You know, if, if it would be different what? if you walked a... A church leader, Mo? Stop, Mo. Not the church leader, Mo. from being a mess and you are you messing around light. with a church leader right now like you can't even control yourself from being a mess and you want to fuck your way into heaven you can't do that okay this this is just crazy you know if, if it would be different if you walked a different lifestyle and you know you are you are a woman of faith and you're practicing it you know then i can respect that you know what i'm saying but like you're belligerently drinking. You're 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 doing you're doing the absolute most. And I'm not judging people's religion, but I'm just saying, like, if you don't try to throw that card of religion and all this stuff, if you ain't even practicing the religion, you're doing the total opposite. Okay? Everyone has their faith, but like don't try to make it like it like it was an issue when you're not even walking that path. Mm. <laughs> um let me move on to um the the divorce. So I wonder, there was an event I wonder, that occurred why he didn't just do the four video. years ago. Like get the get, I'm not get, going to well get your back the situation you that happened in there. Toronto and I pretty much was set on filing for divorce. I didn't do it. Um but pretty much he stepped out of the the marriage. And I just had this gray cloud um that always followed me. And of course, you know, like I had opportunities to also step out, but I always chose the family. She keeps trying to bash me that I chose the family and the kids. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and yes, I'm going to choose because I'm always going to choose responsibility over happiness, period. All right. I get it. Women want the full package and I, under I respect that. Everyone's entitled to happiness, but I'll always choose responsibility over happiness and keeping the family together because there's no such thing as the grass is greener. There's always going to be problems. Um, so this, this, this card of, of, you know, I we only sticked around because we had kids and we had, you know, different, you know, operations happen. Yeah. Like I had that. Plus, you know, you, you're hopeful. You're hopeful. So don't use this card that I was not, I, I was just here for financial gain. That's bogus, okay? Um, that, yeah, that's just, that's just crazy to me. Um, anyhow, so she sells me this idea to hit the reset button to move to Atlanta. And I, I have, yes, I have reservations about it because I was like, yo, you need your family. You need that support. Um, Reservations when, about it? Why did you both just use that word? That family support. You don't know anybody in Atlanta. About. Like I got people in Atlanta. Like, you're not, you're not like from, from here. From a restaurant. But you know, the idea of Am a I reset tripping? button was convincing. Um so we made that move. And um one month into moving to Atlanta, she goes on this cruise. Keep in mind, like I had reservations, not even moving to Atlanta. Um so one month coming, so coming yeah, into Atlanta, somewhere. she's like, I'm going yeah. on this cruise. And I'm like, yo, we, we, we just moved here. What you talking about a cruise right now? Like, we got to figure this thing all out. You want to go party on a cruise for four or five days? Is you good? What's popping? <laughs> you know? But you know what? I didn't want to be controlling. I was like, you know what? Go. I'm here with the kids in a new setting. Whatever. And I just had this gut feeling that something was happening. So when she comes back, um, plus I got, uh, someone cued me that something did happen. Um, you know, she comes in, she doesn't even really greet me. She goes into the room 
Okay, this, now we're going to talk about this whole abuse stuff that she was talking about yesterday. You say she goes into that, our marital space. She has said that Adam had choked her and shit and like... Uh, and one of the... Let me give some context here that's very important here. You know, when we were... Right before moving to Atlanta, we sat down with a family member who said, Hey, you guys need to stop showcasing your... your your, you know, your bed, your marital space there. You got to keep that as a safe haven um, away from the public. Um, and that was kind of what we, we understood moving to Atlanta. So when I knew what I knew and I saw her come into the, go into the master bedroom and just lay on the bed, I was just like the audacity of you to just, to just pull after up. you know where you've been, to come sit down on this bed right here. And I told her, get the hell out of here. What you talking about? There was a hustle and tussle. I never striped her. Okay. I never put my hand on her. And that was it. Was she probably scared? Yeah, she probably was. Because I was I was angry. Like, how dare you come into come back from a cruise doing some ish, which you already admitted to in the video yesterday, and lay up in our in our bed like nothing just happened. Okay? That's tough. I never strike you. I never hit you or anything of that nature. Right? In fact, I think really, what, what are you talking about hitting? I got like a 20-minute video of you attacking me. Okay? With your mom in the video and your assistant. All right? And you know this. You know what? Ex you know exactly what I'm talking about. Anyhow, I don't want to go there. You know, this is, this is just disgusting that I got to come here and defend myself. All right? So, that's... Now, now there's like damage in the marriage here um and i got my guard up now you know like i'm just moving forward this is like uh, we, we moved in september this occurred in october um come new year's now she's telling me she's she's pregnant so i'm thinking like this something happened in the cruise to lead forward to this you know even her family asked her uh Nah. Asked her like, did something really happen in there? She denied it. You know, nothing happened. Like, sorry, like nothing intercourse wise happened there. Um, but I, I had my 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 eyebrow up. Like, what you like? Of course, I'm questioning you. You know what I'm saying? And then she she's telling me that um, I, had to roll up. I oh. abused her. What what are you talking about? Like. We're moving forward with our lives, even though I am, you know, uh, skeptical about things. To, to, to say that, like, I raped you, what are you it's talking ham. about? That's like, ham. I'm that's, not going to lie. That, that was the most hamish part the about it. thing from yesterday that I was just yeah, like, Yeah, that was the most Unbelievable. I know that I had this to hurt. Is what gaslighting is. You know what you did two months ago, but to deflect the truth here, you try to throw in this rape BS you know what I'm saying? What did like, she do two you just ago? came back from cheating over there. Don't try to gaslight the situation here and talk about, you know, uh, that there's a this is rape and this and this and that. What are you talking about? That's crazy. She just um, two months ago? Anyhow, you know, this we're moving on with our lives. The baby comes, you know, and the, our child's name is Aya. Um, which ultimately means a sign, okay? I named the child Aya because you know what? I was like, this is a sign that no matter what, because everybody goes through shit. Ain't nobody perfect. You know, this is a sign right here, you know, to just move forward with our lives. And the problem with that went, it was everything just kind of got worse. She got into a snowball of many things. Before even Aya was born, she got into a car accident. Then she delivers the baby. Um, then she had preeclampsia. And I'm here by your side all the time. Um, and, you know, then she got she gets into a fight with her mom, fight with her sister. She's firing assistant. Now we're into like February, March of 2020. And um, she brings divorce talks. Nothing really provoked it. She just felt like the grass is greener. And I'm trying to let her know, like, yo, I've been by your side. In fact, like, I would constantly remind, remind her, like, yo, I'm by your side. Like, you act like you punched it, like, you delivered this baby by, I'm right by your I've been there, you know, every step of the way, you know. So I'm thinking, like, could this be postpartum? 
you know, be patient it with could the be situation. Postpartum. postpartum is dead. Um, postpartum is dead. A real thing. Like that shit is crazy. Like girls really go through like this depressive stage after birth. It's crazy. So she brings the divorce talks. Before the divorce talks, though, this opportunity for this this reality show comes into the picture. You know, and I was supportive because yeah, I knew like she was ready to take the ne next step of coming off the internet. Um, so yeah, I supported lives, her lives there. At 11 .5. But you know, okay. people love drama. When she brought the divorce talks, she she I don't know what made her think like that. Oh, there's an opportunity here. I'm gonna jump on board. Like it was never about the money for me. I'm a family man. Okay, I've chosen the family time after time. All right, so. He's upset. Now, I'm telling her, like, I, I'm not doing it. Not to be spiteful, but I'm not going to go play actor in front of the, you know, national television for the world and pretend like we have this lovely family this, so that it can blow up in front of the world on national television. Hell no. I'm not doing that. There is no, I, my soul's not for sale, pretty much. Like, there's nothing. There's no dollars. And, of course, you know, she feels like, um, you know, like I am blocking her dream. You know, she's sending family to talk to me about it. And I'm like, y'all, y'all not understanding something. Come on. The that world, like, that's just not my, I'm not doing it, period. And, you know, one night I see that my, my email is up on her laptop. And I see her talking to the lawyer, because keep in mind, the divorce is still going on. Um, she is talking to her lawyer saying Ella Come on So Ella just chill the hell out Oh she was looking through my email trying to find like but I don't know how she got into my email she's trying to see my dialogues with she had with her lawyer I just could not believe how low she would go to, to be on this show again I get it it's your dream to take it to the next level but you you my you know my personality like you can't buy me out like there's nothing <laughs> I'm I'm just not for that so I was hurt to see that she would take it that far with the kids and I when she bought the paper I pretty much said get this paper out of here you're moving shysty you're trying to trying to get these kids you know, full pr primary custody. And then that, that's when everything was like, she couldn't believe I saw that, you know. Um, then family members are coming um, to the house, trying to talk me into it. Um, and I'm just like, I'm not playing fake, man. Keep in mind now, time is going by. Now that she's trying to uh, tripping. find, she's trying yeah. to pretty much catch me slipping now, all right. Uh, Y'all better hold on to your seats right now because this is about to get real, real. So, she decides to put a big ass $2,000 tracker in my car right here. $2,000. She hires a private investigator. Texas. Nah. Do you see how big that shit is? Yo, chill out, Mo. So, she decides to put a big ass $2,000 tracker in my car, right here, $2,000. She hires a private investigator, texting her, telling her all my moves all day long. She's getting mad when the, when the private investigator is just saying, yo, he's at the park. Um, I'm just at the park, literally, just kind of like soul searching, trying to figure out, you know, what is this all about? How do we move forward? She's getting mad. She even, she even uses the word like, yeah, he's a waste. You know, she's really begging to catch me slipping. But I'm not on that time right now. I'm just on another time. I'm just really figuring but slipping out. Into, slipping what into to what, do though? With, with this, because this, is, this, like is, this is just bizarre to me, all of this. And Like cheating? You know, this person that but she's not talking together. to is now coaching her on how to get a gun. Okay, I have all I have all this on video Wait, everything. What? So she's there talking to this guy. You know, this person that she's talking to is now coaching her on how to get a gun. Okay, I have all I have all this on video everything. So she's there talking to this guy who's coaching her on how to get a gun. 
And ask now, imagine now I see this. First of all, let me make this very clear. Imagine if I did this as a man. Y'all would pin me. Y'all would call me a stalker, a lunatic, crazy. There would be, this would have been done a long time ago. If I did any, any half of that, hire a private investigator. This is what crazy dudes do. Okay, this is what crazy dudes do, right? But she's doing it to me, right? So I'm like, I find, I find the GPS tracker. I'm in disbelief. I'm sitting with my people now. I'm like, yo, man, this girl has some guy. I don't know who he is coaching her on how to get a gun. She, she, uh, she got this big ass tracker in my car. What y'all think? I'm counseling her. Her side of her family is counseling with me on what to do, and the consensus amongst the um, the council of everybody on both sides was like, "Yo, bro, she might be trying to get you sent up." So at this yeah, point, I got what? two options here. What do I send her to the streets? Cause you know who I roll with. You know how I move. But can I really send the mother of my children to the streets? I have no choice at this time but get a restraining order, okay? I had to get a protective order, right? And, you know, I get it. People are going to be mad that, yo, why'd you get a restraining order on a woman and this and that? I ain't got no choice at this time because based on the counsel of everybody on both sides, yes. they were like, yo, you got to do something. And I'm not taking her to the streets. I just cannot take her to the streets, <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I just couldn't. So I had to get a protective order on her. So she's running with this false narrative that she's running around in the city. Yeah, you, you did this to yourself. Okay, you did this to yourself. And you're talking about, you know, the little one being with you. Yeah, you have to be with the little one. You're the mother of a, of a, of a very young baby, right? Like she needs motherly love. And you did this. And I had to protect myself. Okay. Um, this is facts. This is this is reported. This is known facts. Everything I said today so far, God help this is her. Her. this is the full truth. So now she's she's just lost in the sauce. She 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 she's she's out there. She's no longer in the house, and um, I pretty much is get getting heat from her family to drop the protective order and just move on, and. I dropped the protective order because, you know, you don't want that pressure on it from coming from everybody. You know, I only did this to let everybody know, like, yo, pump your brakes. Y'all doing the absolute most for a show? But here's the, here's the problem I have about this show. Right, like, you, you going crazy for this show. And then I saw the contract. I'm thinking, like, yo, there's a, you know, her family kept saying something about legacy and there's a bag here. When I saw the contract... Bro, you're getting paid a rack an episode. I was like, now nah, that's facts. Now nah, that's facts. A lot of people think just because like they're on a TV, like national TV, that they're getting paid a lot, and that is not true. Like unless you're like a motion picture actress or actor, like Denzel Washington in the main movies that's in the box offices, like reality TV, there's only a certain amount of people that really make it and 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 really make something out of that like cardi b there's a there's a few others too that still like use that to become like you know what i'm saying yandy like they you know what i'm saying but besides those people they try to like those 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 reality tv shows be trying to get you i'm telling you i'm just be trying to get you trust me i was supposed to do love and hip-hop twice so i know they be trying to get you youtubers make way more Tell you that. <laughs> no, I tell you that. What, what what are we doing here? I make a rack selling my beard oil almost every day. What the hell? A rack for all this shit? Facts. Uh, and you gotta give I, up I mad drama, your personal. Like, yo, you gotta give up your personal benefit, life, right? all that for a little bit of money. Like, like God, stop it. Right now, it's just all. But what they do offer is a lot of exposure. You're on TV, so now you become like famous, and you know what I mean. But a nigga famous now. Fancy, <laughs> this is a straight popularity contest right now that you're trying to get into. I was shocked. Yeah, people, I was just shocked. I was just, 
in disbelief about this. Anyhow, you know, I'm waiting for a divorce to come now, a divorce court to come now. And she really is now pleading to me to essentially change my mind. And I'm just not having it. Based off of all the activities that occurred, I'm just not having it. I'm just like, I don't believe it anymore. You did the absolute most. I just can't believe it. And literally at the 23rd hour, just before our hearing, you know, she's still begging. Sorry, I meant to say, I went on a journey. I left the state um, to just really, again, do I really want to give up on the family despite what has transpired? I went on this this crazy journey of by myself, it's just self-reflection. I come back literally like two, three hours, sorry, three hours before um before the court hearing, I dropped the case. There was a moment of relief. We we're like, we can move on with our lives. Um so the next day, we, no, we, we go out, we had a, it just felt right. Like we went out, it, it just really felt like a relief for moment. So they dropped the and, charge. Um, of, damn, how many times the did they do that? Came and she's crying all of a sudden. I see her crying in the car and I'm like, literally the next morning, she's crying in the car and I'm like, what's, what's going on? What happened? And um, she's, she's saying, why is everybody messing with my mental health? Um, why'd you drop the divorce? I just looked at her. That's when she, moment, that's when she said that she did that to be on the show, right? In the air she did I that for the show. I, so I just she could be the one that filed for divorce. Said, you do whatever you want. I know I have done God's work here. He will never forsake me. I am good. Like, I just threw my hands up and I was like, <laughs> I'm good. Do whatever you want. Literally, 24 hours later or 40, 42, um, 72 hours later, she files for divorce. It's like, it's like a game at this point. It's like childish games. She files divorce and I never That's crazy. asked her to change it. That's why if you see in the public record, I drop a divorce and then she files it for like literally like 48 hours later. And I just knew at that time, this test right here, my job was done here. I had proved this to the creator that my, I did my best and this was just for shits and giggles. Um, yeah, and um, you know, what's, what's fascinating about this video release yesterday is we settled. Divorce is done, but you're still bitter. Like, why are you bitter? <laughs> like, it's done. You, 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 your problem here is it's fake happy, right? You're trying to, and no one has survived you, okay? Literally, everybody is, you have nobody anymore, okay? You literally have no body anymore on your side. Your friends are gone. Like even you had two weeks ago, your girl Precious came to visit you. The one that you're making fun of in this black video, I mean, this you make, making fun of a black woman, whatever, two weeks ago, comes and visits you. What happened? Like, like no one survives you. You go to the church, it's a mess. Oh, you fire every assistant. You, you don't even talk to your mom right now. You know, and it's just crazy. Like it is, I definitely want to see the other video just because right now I feel like this live is just a reaction. This is us, him probably upset and hurt. Like, you know what I mean? This is just a reaction. I, I, I would like to see his sit down video where he got his collective thoughts and feelings together. He's not so like, because he's jumping, you know what I mean? Jumping around. So it's just unreal to me that like you, no one can survive you. And I, I'm so sorry that I had to stoop to this level to come and let this person know like what it is because when you try to talk to them in private they completely just like oblivious they're not in tune with this world everything is validation from the internet it's who they are is uh 
is based on the value, uh, the worth of you know that comes from the internet. Like you, you lying out here about this new dude buying you a buying you a roly girl. Your, your damn receipt is right here. You bought the own the the roly for yourself. Why are you attributing it to him? Like it's just crazy. Be happy. Like <laughs> you're doing the absolute most. It's crazy to me. So she said that right? her, her new nigga and bought her. I products. promise y'all, man. I, I can. I have. This is the truth. The whole truth. You know. Um, I, I I don't know if I'm missing anything. You know, there was so many um, things that was said on her video, but she just. I feel like it's almost like a cry out. Like we're done. You're just like you keep sending me advances. You're with somebody else. Why are you inviting me to your place? Why are you telling me all, all these crazy stuff? I'm good, love. <laughs> just leave the boy alone. What y'all want from me? You know, even her family messaging me like, yo, how more can you take? But the problem is like, yo, I'm on every time. I'm on any time y'all think you on. Like, whatever time you think you on, I'm on that time. Like, you want peace? I'm going to build you a garden. You want to move dirty, shysty? <laughs> like, you just stop. Just leave me alone. I've surrendered. I've done my legwork here. Okay? You're doing the absolute most. You're dabbling around the truth here. Like, that's what I said. I'm going to finish the 85% here. You're not telling the truth. And... God help you, okay? You come into, the internet's not, come, like, I, you know, I'm guilty, I'm here talking, but the internet, these people here don't know you, okay? They're not here to, to they're not jur- Alright, yeah, so the video's over. Uh, make sure you, you head to the comment section and let me know what you think of the live. I think his feelings was just probably hurt right here, and it was just his natural reaction is to react. Like to what she was saying Like you know what I'm saying Cause she was saying outlandish things But I already seen that I'm a little late He dropped a video yesterday I didn't even see But um Yeah we about to We about to react to that too So stay tuned Love y'all And I see y'all next video